establishment Republicans and liberal Democrats run in fear for their political skins when wacko birds and uh, rabid conservatives and all of those nutcases tell the truth. Sam Kephart, uh, you are somebody that the uh, moderates and the liberals would like to marginalize because you've been talking about the truth. In fact, in October of 2010, I believe, you wrote an op-ed piece for the Rapid City Journal who, and during that... That was uh, published. Yeah, and it, it was even got published. <laughs> so... <laughs> Editorial good page. Good job. Yeah. Uh, but what you said then, people scoffed at, and people tried to dismiss you as a uh, fringe lunatic, shall Wearing we say. a tin hat. One of the people yeah. comments actually said, I'm so, go in a bunker, eat spam, and wear a tin hat. So, tell us what you said then and it will be a revelation to our viewers today. What I told people then was that the government then was already marking their GPS positions through their technology. They were recording our phone calls and emails. They were recording our Google searches. They were tracking us through our credit cards and basically profiling us electronically. And people went, oh no, that didn't happen. And now, just last night, I'm not a big fan of PBS, but they actually had an excellent two-part um, documentary on called The United States of Secrets. The United States of Secrets. And it's all about this evolution of domestic spying. Yes, it's now, a two-part story. So last night was the first hour. Next week is the second hour. Okay, and so uh, what you were saying in 2010 was, look, folks, this is what's going on. Yeah, not going to happen going on. Yes, it's happening right now. Right. But now we fast forward to 2013. 2014 now, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we've got, I, I want to say other traitors <laughs> like Snowden, right. who really blew the lid off of it and did little more than disclose what you were already saying. Well, and that's the point. And, and the reason I feel so passionately about this, you folks at home, Forgive the expression. Get off your uh -oh. and go get angry about stuff. Why do you sit and mealy mouth go along and let your privacy get stompled? Who, who are you calling? Are you doing anything about it? Or are you sort of in a depressive state and, oh, well, I guess we're in the end days and we just have to roll over and let it happen? Well, I can tell you one thing that's going to have to happen is we're going to have to get another bleeping machine because you've worn out the first <laughs> But what you're saying is real. It's it's like uh, privacy but, and the right get to off privacy. Your butt. How's that? That's good. The off right the to privacy is fast becoming a thing of the past, and our leaders are are uh, couching it in in the doctrine of safety and security. What we're really doing is selling our privacy for what they say is our security. Yeah, well, it's a perceived good. And, you know, Benjamin Franklin, one of the founders, warned about that. Yes, he did. He said, if you give up too much of your, uh, too much of your privacy to, quote, gain a little public safety, you're making a bad bargain. And Well, you, you'll get neither. Well, not only that, then people say, well, you know, Sam, you know, this, I don't have anything to hide. I don't have anything to hide other than the fact that I think this whole thing is this. Well, the, the, the NSA was given, if those of you that are familiar with the tuna business, years ago they had what was called a long line. They put one line out with a bunch of hooks on it, and the line might be a couple miles long. The NSA was given a long line to catch bad guys, terrorists, and other people want to yes. do the country. I'm in favor of that. But what happened is they hauled the long line up on the deck of the boat and wove it into a purse saner that picks up everything. Now it's a net. And it's a net, and I have a huge problem with that, the, morally. And not only is that a, uh, an ethical issue, but with what we see now uh, over the last year or two, uh, the revelations of the Internal Revenue Service targeting people and uh, I have a friend who who uh, spoke out against Obamacare and now he's doing 
five or ten years in prison. Uh, they will come after you, Sam. Right. Well, the, the point of it is, once you have this power, there's a, there's a concept in technology called full use syndrome. Well, now that we can do this, what else can we do with it? And they start <laughs> looking around. I'll leave that to your imagination. Well, that's a good place to leave it, too. Whatever you think about Sam's opinion, about my comments, one thing that you should be is alarmed at the continually growing overreach of our government.